went to Walmart and I bought the scrub, the loofah scrub. Finally, they have it. So I wrapped it up and giving it to um, the homeowner for his birthday. So I'm going to surprise him. But, um, well, I have two more left. I bought all that I can find because they really like it, you know. So if he'd be good to me, I'd be good back to him. But if he don't be good to me, I'm not going to be good to him. I'm going to hide it. And when he needs it, there's no more. He can't find it at Walmart or wherever, Dollar Tree or Publix. Only I have it. So, too bad. So, I'm going to punish you. If you be rude, mean, disrespectful, negative, prejudiced, or harassing me, stressing me out, you're not going to get no more loofahs because I'm going to hide it. So, I'm going to lock it up, and I'm, I'm not going to tell you where I'm going to hide it, but you can't get your hands on it all year round. So, if once yours goes, one goes bad, then you're going to look for another one, and it's nowhere to be found, because it's not easy finding these loofah. So, uh, the sponge. So, um, be nice to me, or you're not getting nothing. Or you be itching and scratching and you can't even scrub yourself clean. <laughs> He's addicted to these, so he he loves those loofahs. Him and his son, so him and his disabled son, uh, Andres, they both like the loofahs, so um, loofah sponge. So you both be mean to me. I'm going to hide it. I'm not going to show you where it is. And you're not going to get it, so you're going to be scrubbing and itching and not cleaning yourself as good. You need me. And some people, it's like, you can't live with me and you can't live without me. You can't work with me and you can't work without me. And you can't eat with me and you can't eat without me. I'm the type of girl that these people, they're like, oh, I don't like lobster. I don't like beef. I'm allergic to lobster or beef. But they still eat it. Their mouths still eat it.